it's that time of year again. Fall, which means winter, which means really expensive heating bills. We got wrecked last year. Um, so we gotta figure something out. We have an idea. We have an entire forest of dead ash trees. Free fuel for free heat if you have a wood stove. That's what we're gonna do. We already had the perfect corner to put it in. Found a stove we loved online, jumped on Pinterest for some inspiration, and we got to work. Picked up some supplies, and then we measured and shaped the form for the concrete pad. Timing was perfect because we were already pouring concrete in our garage, so we had them pour it on the pad as well. The guys worked their magic, and it was looking really great. We just had to figure out how to keep the kids and the dog off of it until it cured. After it was done curing, we took the form off and got to see what the pad was gonna look like. We smoothed out some of the rougher edges and cleaned up the floor around it. It looked so nice. All we needed was the stove. So we have some friends of ours, Chris and Stephanie and her parents who are going to come and stay with us over the weekend and help us install the stove. Um, one problem, they get here on Friday and um, we were told by the company that we ordered the stove from that they, the stove will for sure be there by Friday. For sure, I'd be shocked if it's not there by Friday. Well, it's Thursday and I have not even received any shipping confirmations yet. I have nothing to show that it has even shipped. I even for a little bit was like, was this a scam? Did I get scammed? I did not, I did the research. Um, but yeah, because it's shipping via freight, he said you don't know until the shipping company contacts you. So try not to be nervous. We might just hang out this weekend, I guess. I don't know. Our friends arrived with this really fun bunk bed that the girls loved. And while the boys planned out how they were gonna set up the stove. Yay! 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 Be careful. Don't flop him down. Oh. We spent some time playing and catching up. And then finally the stove arrived. The next dilemma was figuring out how to get it in the house. The stove was over 600 pounds. How's it feel? Threw on some straps heavy, and carried it in, just like that. Nobody broke their backs, we got it inside. The kids played with the tools and helped out. The boys used the biggest <laughs> drill bit I've ever seen in my life to cut through the brick for the pipe. Hey Chris, Chris, turn it this way just a minute so she can get a good picture of what the brick looks like. If you can, I know that's not easy. I got it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, the guys drilled holes through the walls. We took the kids out and picked some pears and some apples and tried to keep them entertained. These are nice and little. Don't really worry too much about the holes. Yeah, we're going to read the little bit. But you're pretty close on this one. Actually, you're right on this one. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's it. Thank you. Yep, good job. Good job. You're saving your space. You're doing great. <laughs> the boys worked hard, and it took them about a day and a half, and they had the whole chimney pipe out and the stove installed. The woodsman is here. Did you know bacon grease is a great fire starter? It is. Chris showed us. It's awesome. Uh, not that big yet. <laughs> we got our first fire blazing, and it was the best. But we weren't done there. The next project was to actually get the dead trees down and then split them so that we could use the wood. A friend let us borrow his splitter and the guys got to work. It was a big job. Check this out.
Little do these girls know that they're going to be splitting and stacking wood for the rest of their lives. That first night after we got the stove in was a really cold night. And so we stacked that thing full of wood and I have never in my life been so happy to wake up in the middle of the night roasting hot. Yeah, that's a beautiful sight right there. Also, that is probably a third of what we need. So we got some more work to do. But it's free. Yes. That makes the picture a little better. <laughs> and suddenly winter's not so bad.